who you are and what you do at Mancy's Art and Hennify Me. Um, I'm the owner and the artist of Mancy's Art and Hennify Me. Um, I offer artistic services of henna application, face painting, and pyrography, which is essentially wood burning, for Peachtree City, Georgia, and the greater Atlanta area. Excellent. So you're an artist yourself, and mm -hmm. you design the work that you put on people's bodies? That's right. Um, like in, in, like with any kind of art form, you know, it's um, the freedom of expression, and it, it's a really uh, it gives me the freedom to design um, different designs as per people's liking. A lot of people have very particular um, things in their mind about what they want in their design, so I incorporate all of those and make a unique design for them. Very cool. And uh, maybe you could tell us uh, a little bit about henna. I I'm sure a lot of us have heard about it, and in our minds, at least mine anyway, I connect it with tattooing, but it's different, right? Right. Um, tattoo would be... I totally do, do not associate henna with tattoo, but it ha does somehow have that name associated with it. Right, they're Although both art on the skin, you know, but that's probably correct. where it stops. Correct. Um, a permanent tattoo is, of course, permanent, but henna is temporary, and the only kind of similarity is it does last a little while on the skin when it comes to henna. So that's where the similarity stops. <laughs> um, henna is essentially a plant, and the leaves is what we use to make a powder. The leaves have this uh, naturally occurring dye in it, which stains skin or nails or, you know, uh, hair, which was what uh, made people interested in it and gained its popularity. So basically, that's what it does. It stains the topmost cells of your skin, and um, our body rejuvenates those cells eventually, so it will fade off as your skin renews itself. Okay, excellent. And uh, who are your clients? Like, uh, who walks through your doors? Who do you help? Henna is very popular with uh, preteens, teens, adults. Um, I don't recommend it for very younger children because it's, you know, there is an aftercare involved when it comes to taking care of your henna and then making sure it stays on your skin for a long time. So all that care is kind of tricky for little kids. So preteens, uh, teens, adults, they do wonderful when it comes to taking care of it and um, yeah basically you know any age group on uh, about six or seven years old wonderful and uh, tell me Mansi how'd you how'd you find your way into this uh, I imagine you're you were artistic but what what made you decide to pursue this um well I do have a degree in bachelor uh, <laughs> bachelor's degree in architecture, but um, my career wasn't doing so great, and I was trying to find some kind of an outlet for my artistic uh, abilities, so um, I accidentally got into henna, and you know, I, I was like, this is it, so it kind of happened by accident, but I'm, I'm very glad that it did happen. Um, it has a lot of similarities with you know, architecture that, uh, you know, the creating of something from basic elements and, uh, you know, creating different designs. You have basic elements in architecture as well as henna, and then, you know, you mix and match and come up with a unique design every single time. So sure. that was very, very uh, similar. That's great. And uh, tell me, what do you have in store for yourself and your company in the near future? Uh, well, you know, there's no surprise there. I'll be doing a lot more art. 
um, definitely a lot more weddings with henna, a lot more belly blessings, which is, you know, doing henna for the expected, expectant mom um, on her baby shower, and also henna crowns, which are very popular lately uh, for cancer patients going through chemotherapy. They lose their hair, and, you know, henna crowns is a great way to put that um, sliver of hope and fun um, during the tough times that they're going through. So, um, and definitely pyrography where, you know, uh, as I mentioned, wood burning, I'm planning to take it a, take it a step up and go with uh, wood burning on furniture instead of just um, keeping it as a part of art or wall art or, you know, something like yeah. that. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, uh, I do want to thank you for coming on the show, but we're running out of time. So please uh, tell us the best way for our listeners to reach you if they've heard anything today they'd like to learn more about. Sure. They can always visit my website. My website has tons of information about henna and all the artistic services that I offer. It's hennafyme.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook is Mansi's Art Henna Find Me. And Instagram is Mansi's Art. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. It sounds like you have a unique business, and I've checked your art out on the web. It's excellent. So uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. Thanks for having me, Jason. You're very welcome. Have a great day. And a big thank you also goes out to our listeners for staying tuned. We'll be right back at the Professionals Roundtable after these messages. Message.